Here's a full ranked match as the Power Spectre with Sword Dagger and Dagger Pistol. The role is to be a roamer that can also stick in larger fights. It doesn't really want to be alone too much because the tether is pretty powerful, though you're not really focusing on the tether as much. It's kind of just a byproduct, but you can really support your allies with it if you really wanted to. But we're going to be sticking to stealth here, looking for the first target. I see that there's an untamed on their team, and I know that they're probably the best target because not only are they a high pressure target, but they're also a somewhat squishy target. But they do have super speed because they've used their elite skill, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with them. I'm not a daredevil, so it's hard to stick to someone who's got a lot of super speed. So I need to use my sword too, get my steel off on them. And they went in stealth, so we're going to retarget here because I want to peel for my support guardian because they're getting trained pretty hard. And maybe we can go on a different target because their will vendors are also pretty high pressure, high priority targets. And landing my sword three on the will bender is probably the best thing to do. I actually see that their support guardian is kind of low now, so I want to go on that instead. You know that a support guardian is pretty tanky, but when it's out of cooldowns, it's a really good time to focus it. So I'm going very aggressive on the support guardian and they're kiting well. And one of ours actually goes down, our Harbinger goes down. So we're in a bad spot here because we've got three, we, we have four, but one dies. So now we're in a three V three ish. We've got some downs though. This was actually a four V three, was it, I believe? So we, we're not doing too well, but we've got the kills finally. We lost sides as a result, but we do end up getting mid. And from this kill on the Willbender, which we will get, we can now push out onto the rest of the map. So at this point, they have respawns. Their guardian is going to try to stop me from getting the decap, and so is their soul beast. So I'm going to use my shadow step to get as much distance as possible and use my shroud two behind me so that I can cripple them potentially to prevent them from getting to me and preventing that decap. And then I port back to regroup with my team. I see that they've got the rest of the map. So I'm actually going to push back into far because I want to prevent them from pushing back into my team. I dodge the traps immediately because I saw that that was a trap soul beast. And I realized that actually the soul beast is kind of squishy. So I bait out some of their dodges. I land a second shroud too, and they're already pretty much dead here. And there's a trap there. So I proc that and get out. And I'm going to go for my shadow fall into sword two, but they have their doliac stance. I'm trying to land some damage, but they've got super speed. I'm heart seeker spamming and they have that second life trait there. So they actually didn't die there. So I'm going to use my shadow step to chase. And they're going back around, so I precast my shadow return into a black powder into the shroud tube, which gives me the stealth stomp I can get here to prevent myself from getting CC'd. But my entire team is actually dead because I was playing more of a duelist role here and taking that 1v1, which we really didn't need. We needed to have more support in the team fight. So I have to disengage from this. I get a nice cloak and dagger off of the untamed and their pet. So I'm going to go for a disengage and maybe peel for my uh, team by going for the decap far. I do land really good shroud twos on them to pressure them and slow them down to bait their cooldowns out. But I don't really want to be in this 1v1 again because it's not really helping my team, right? Because I think we do have uh, plenty of duelists on our team. And what we really need is someone to be roaming around and getting kills. I do land my Shroud 5 here, but they burst me pretty hard, so I lose a lot of my health. I get some nice damage while they're in my Shadowfall CC, but their Trap Soul Beast is now on me. So I'm kiting away and just trying to cleanse some Condies by spamming Sword 2, which also gives me a little bit of life force. I see the Untamed is running right at me, so I know that they're trying to burst me. So I try to dodge that, but I do take a lot of damage. And now I have to disengage even further. I don't even have my heal skill anymore, but my soul beast is coming in. So maybe we can 2v2 with, with them and potentially get a kill, but I'm low on cooldown. So I'm playing kind of safe. I see the pets on me as well. 
I go for a backstab with the Signet of Infiltration and get a decent amount of damage on their Untamed. And I see that my Druid's actually coming in now. So we need to really focus the target. So I'm chasing the Soul Beast out of this fight. They are immobilizing me. I go for my Shadowfall, but they have their Doliac Stance again. And I'm going to precast my Shroud 5, but they go in stealth, so I'm not able to chase. I Shadow Step into my Sword 2, so I can land my Cloak and Dagger into a nice backstab. And we're going to finish the kill off with some Wells to just stick on top of them. I use my Shroud 2 into my Black Powder again to stealth stomp. And now we're going to go back into Far because the Bell is coming up, but I don't want to just sit there for 20 seconds because my Druid is going to die if I leave them alone versus two Will Benders. So we're going to focus the Will Bender that's lowest here. We get a good CC, and actually my Druid is re-engaging now. They probably were pretty low from being outnumbered, but now we can re-engage on that because they're pretty healthy and their Will Bender is pretty low. Will Benders have, they have pretty good survivability, but low sustain. So when they're low on health, you really want to stick to them. And now their other Will Bender sees that they've died, their ally died, and they don't want to sit here outnumbered, which is a good play by them. I want to give my Druid the full cap here, so I should leave and let them full cap this, and I should go and help my team. But we actually won the bell because our support guardian, I think, full capped that by themselves. So we don't actually need to go to the, the bell. But the Willbender did head into mid, and the other Willbender is probably respawning as well. So I need to head into mid and prevent my support guardian from dying here. I go into my shadow fall, but it doesn't really do much because they have stability and Aegis. And we're gonna try to peel for my support guardian as hard as possible. Their untamed is getting blinded by my shadow shot. I have a little bit of peel here. I can give protection to the downstate body with my well, but yeah, there's no way that we can out res that cleave. So I'm going to go in stealth here and look for a new target. My teammates are all dying and the ranger is leaving the fight. So I'm going to try to prevent them from leaving because we have home. We don't want them to push into home. So I disengage here. I go into shroud just to prevent myself from taking too much damage. I cast my shroud five here and I'm actually going to port back in, land a nice cloak and dagger after landing the stun. And they're going to go down and I go for a shadow step stomp, but they have two people resing there. So there's no way I can get that. And even if I did get it, we can't really get anything off of that kill anyways because our allies aren't even there. So I go into far to help my druid with their 1v1 with a will bender. We need to land steel on them to remove their protection and Aegis and stability potentially. But as soon as their stability runs out, the druid lands a really good CC and we finish them off. But their other will bender comes in and our druid is extremely low, so I'm trying to use wells on them to heal them. I go into shroud to give them more support and barrier, and we just need to make sure that our druid does not go down, because if they do, the will bender can easily cleave through that, and that's gonna be a bad situation. So I really wanna keep my ally in the upstate, so I'm peeling for them by headshotting using steel and giving healing with the shroud. So now we've got kills there. The bell is coming up, and we don't own mid. I see their will bender is heading towards the bell and we can't really give that up because they'll get 50 points, which is pretty much enough to, to win for them pretty soon. So I go in and I'm getting blinded on my sword abilities. I do a really good shroud burst while kiting them and pressure them quite a bit, get some cooldowns out, but their entire team is here now. My support guardian goes down. So I try to put down some blinds with the black powder and use my wells there just to peel but there's so much cleave and i'm getting cc'd that we can't really get this and we don't have our support here anymore so we have to be really careful i do get some decent cc and their untamed is pretty low so we're gonna spam out some damage their support actually dies and we cleave it fast enough to get some rallies but we don't have our support still so we're dying off their untamed goes down to some spam and I go for a shadow step stomp to rally my druid at the last second. I use my wells on the node just to support my allies. I go in shroud, put some blinds down just to keep my allies alive and we've got kills. 
So we're going to get the bell, which is 50 points, which is going to even up the score. And we've got map presence. So I'm going to go for a mid and I put my sword two there to precast, but I see that their guardian is going in. So I'm going to take that back and just try to stop them because they could go for a res there or they could just really stop our team from getting the bell by stalling that. So I'm going to go in here and try to force this so that we get some momentum on the map. I land some nice sword threes, which is always really good against guardians or any other class with a lot of blocks to keep the pressure on them, even though they are using their cooldowns. I'm going to use my sword three with the unblockable into my infiltrator strike or infiltrator signet and just heart seeker spam them once they're out of blocks. And now we've got the bell. So I'm going to go into far. I see that my druid is kind of low and they're against an untamed and the will bender is now on them. I go in shroud immediately while targeting them to get the tether on them and I'm spamming headshot just to try to peel use my steel and now we're 3v2ing because we've got momentum on the map we've got the kill on their will bender and the untamed is going to go down so we've got far our support is at mid versus I believe another will bender so I go in to help them to try to get the decap here I don't land my steel I believe but they go into their Im immunity there, which gets us the decap, which is really good because we need that because it's really close to the end of the match. Now their support guardian comes in and we need to really watch far. But at this point, I see that their guardian is going for the res. So I port to them and use my steel to interrupt it. And I can't really watch far because at this point, I need to ensure that we win this fight. We actually get the kill on their guardian because they used all their stability to get the res and we interrupted that anyways so they lost a lot of momentum and got cc to death and now we can get the kills at mid we actually had a lot of cc from our teammates to get that kill and now we're just focusing each and every target afterwards we only need mid to win we're just going to stall the bell because that's the only way that the enemy wins and we're going to win with holding home or mid. So that's pretty much how you play the Power Spectre. If you like this content, then like the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.